Hello everyone, this is Flame Fox reporting in from Bevel's Painting, and today we are going to outsmart Death himself. So, in the last episode, of course, I was facing off against Death, well, not really. Facing off, he was trying to chase me, he was being a big jerk about it, I was trying to run away because I'm an innocent, young, pure maiden who kills people for a living. So, let's see exactly how this turns out. And I'm supposed to go over here. So that both of the pictures together. So that both of the pictures together. And then booyah! And death comes rain down from the heavens. Run for your life, Bevel! Run! This girl must have some endurance. I mean... Oh yeah. This girl must have some endurance, because she's pretty much been running this whole time. I don't remember really one time that I've actually had to walk in the whole game. It'd be really cool if there was some kind of a stealth technique in this game, though. Well, no, not in this game, but maybe in a few other RPG games. Wait, get away! Can I go into the... Shed, 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 shed. No, 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 no. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Mm. Shut, shut, shut. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Shit, I clicked out. I clicked out. Shit, shit. Get away, get away. You're big, you're scary, you're mean, I don't like you. Go away, mind your own business. Nobody cares about you, nobody loves you, your mama doesn't even love you. That's why you're dead. You you, just, you thought that you could be a scientist, you thought you could be a computer scientist, you thought you could be a chemist. But no, you failed your mom. Your mom is disappointed in you. Your mom always wanted you to be dead. So, in, or, in an effort to appease her, you decided to become dead yourself. Right? Right. That's how your story works, that's how it always will work. Come on, come on, come on. They have a... No, no, shit, shit. Hi. This isn't going to work. She mentioned Death got stuck. So she mentioned something about how hiding behind bookshelves made her feel safe. So yeah. Stop clicking out. Shit. Alright, I'm gonna go through here. You know why? Because why not? It's me. Hmm? There's something in my pocket. <gasps> oh, shit! What a... What a stubborn one. You can't run or hide anymore. Uh, what does that say? Just... What is that? Just... What is that one? Somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna post it over the screen. <laughs> um... Bevel. You can't run away. No, that's not it. No. Shit, run, run. I got Shecky. Let me. I can go into the shed now. Is it an automatic thing or? Yes. Oh shit. I don't like that. Oh. Hey, it's my heart. Hey. Oh, what happened to that door? Oh. Ooh, what's going on here? Is that why he needs to do the red room? If I would have done the red room, would I have been able to go through there? Hi, Martian painting! Save me! Bring me to planet Earth! You brought me back home! Oh, God, thank you! End long dream. 
So I fell asleep when I was staring at my painting. For literally no reason whatsoever. Hmm. I do know that Bevel's painting does have multiple endings, so let's go on ahead and and do that. So Bevel has to use the bathroom, so let's go use the bathroom and talk to her friend. Hey, what's up, girl? You're looking mighty nice today. Just a reskin version of Bevel. Copy paste. Reverse scheme. Literally all it is, right? It's really all it is. Are you ready for a coronation ceremony, guys? I know I am. I'm ready to be the fucking queen. So let me be that queen. Let me be your queen. I will be the greatest queen in all of existence. Although I really don't want to wear a pink dress, but that's the uniform for when you're becoming a queen. Hello, little bun bun. Hello, Miss Pixie. Thank you. Your magic is adorable. You two are such gentlemen. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I am very proud to be here today. Do not worry, Bearful. I will take care of all of your troubles. Hi there, Angel. I didn't see you before. Very nice to see you. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm here, and the bun bun decides to become a painting. A pink bun bun. Alright, so we all know the drill. We just gotta eat every single bite that we can possibly stuff in our mouths. Nom nom nom. Mmm, that's delicious. Alright, say this to the same file as before because why not? It's not going to hurt anything. And then, of course, we got this little thing to deal with. Alright. This is easy enough. Just stuff, just shove the shapes in the blocks. The diamond must go. And that is the same sun that was on the painting before, remember? You guys remember? When I put the painting on the easel? And the easel ended up being the sun, or where the sun was supposed to be? And then after I did that and put the battery in the clock, the clock started- You guys remember. This is a very flowery brush. Very flowery. Hmm. So the beginning is relatively straightforward, just go don't go beyond there. <laughs> Or else you're going to fall to your doom. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. Take this this brush that I found on the ground. That someone hid from you. It's your brush, but sure. Let the door be blue. Just a two-way road division wise. Eh. So anyways, I did record another episode of Undertale, but um I was facing off against Undyne for like an hour. Pretty much non-stop. So when I post it, it's going to be a very jumbled uh, unlock! Open sesame! As far as that worked. So, when I do upload it, it's basically going to be a very fast version because I don't want you guys to sit through an hour of me struggling. <laughs> yeah. So we need to get the scissors from over here because Bevel is too lazy to just shove the curtains to the side. Hello, Miss Pianist. Apparently it's a woman. Uh, scissors. Come in here. Step on up. 
Can use the scissors. Can I use the mirror shard to break it? Not break it, just cut it. How does she even reach up there? That's my question. Alright, so right here is the switch, and I press it. And then that opens that. Which leads me to the green painting that I used to put on the, um... That I used to put leaves on the tree. Because the tree is very cold, and it's the middle of winter. And even though trees really shouldn't have leaves in the middle of winter, um... This one needs leaves! He needs leaves so much! I can't go another moment without having any leaves. You will take care of that right now! Immediately! Yeah. Do not worry, tree! We will save you from the oncoming frostbite! Green bait! Go! Yes, paint. Yay! The store is unlocked. Excellent. So instead of putting the scissors in there, I guess the I guess the mirror shot could also be counted as a tool, so let's drop it. Stabbing sound. You heard a sound of the savvy nature? So, yeah, no matter what you do, you have to kill the pianist and let the bookshelves turn into skulls that chase you. I wonder if this is Mum. Hmm. What if the one who's playing the piano is actually my mom? And, um... And I killed her on accident or something of the sort. And after I killed her... I went to an orphanage, and that's where I am at now. So now I paint to, um... So now I paint to try to forget about what I did to my own mom. I'm going to ignore that jar for now. Actually, hold up. You're going to save. See, when you know what you're actually doing in the game, it's really easy to, um... When you know what you're doing in the game, it's incredibly easy to progress through it. <laughs> Just like with any other game, mostly. No escape. Good. I'm going to punish you, Susie. Beatrice, prong queen. Oh, Crunchy. And you, Devon. You thought you were so cool cheating on me with Susie, didn't you? Now the joke's on you. And oh, little Lucy, sweet, innocent Lucy. I know what you did to teach her. There is no escape for any of you. You will all die here, in the pit of my rage. My soul will sing your death. I wonder what happens if I spare that girl. In a crushing chamber. Her. That, wait... Who is she in the escape? And who are you? Susie. So down here... We got... Work to do. We need to get this heart beaten again. There's something in the skull. Got the desk key. And then we can go down here. We can... Sugar this mirror to turn red. And then we can clean the brush. The brush is now clean, clouded with red. And then we can exchange the books. No, not desk key. Come on. Unless the desk key is red. Can I dip the can I dip the desk key in the water and turn it red? No no way to do that. gonna go up here get the desk key no I get the red key from the desk a lot of backtracking always fun not really someone died <laughs> Devin you're next <laughs> 
Save. So when I get the candle, based on like the little hints that I got in the black world, I'm supposed to be, if I want to get the actual quote unquote true ending, then I'm supposed to burn the door black using the candle instead of painting it over with the black paint, and Devin is gone now. <laughs> Up a wonderful Ooh, who died? You're not dead. Perhaps I should change that. No. No. I'm going to try not to kill anyone this time. Because I just can't be bothered. I mean, that said, I'm not going to kill that girl with one eye as well. The the copycat. The girl who just looks like a different palette of me. But she isn't me. Only I am me. I am unique. Everyone is unique. She's just trying to copy. Just like most people. The beat drop. You're still all dead. Well, you're still alive, not over there. I mean, I met a crush she went too many times in the past. Alright. Light the candle! Yes! It's lit. Hello! Carmen. Nice to meet you, Carmen. Don't go chasing after me now! You can't catch me. Hmm, I wonder where Susie and Goosey went. Oh well, I'll we'll probably never know. Alright, so, if I want the room to be painted red, make it all red, then I'm going to have to get the canvas down here, and then make a bridge out of it. Spare you. Hit it point, that's not a very good idea. <laughs> Should I kill her? No, I'm not going to. I already said that I wouldn't. I don't want to back out on my word. I'm good. I'm sweet. I'm innocent. I am Bevel. I'm Bevel! Alright, so. Wait, what am I doing? Why am I here? I'm not supposed to be here right now. I need to get the lipstick in the pot. And there's a the blood in front of it. My god, I'm dumb. I wonder if I can use the scissors or something. Thank you. I'm gonna put that on my lids. I hope it's cherry flavored. I like cherry flavored lipstick. Alright, so we're going to paint the Martian landscape with lipstick. With Mama's lipstick. Why is it lipstick? Ooh. Ooh, shiny. Cloth. <laughs> Shit! Fuck you, Scully! You son of a bitch! I'm sorry, Scully, I don't mean it. You know I don't, right? Mm, so I need to get the canvas. I'm sorry, Scully, you know I don't mean it, right? Right? You're my little Scully bones. Little, little Scully bones. Right? Oh, he's glaring at me. Oh, no, he's angry. Ugh. I'm sorry, Scully. Please don't kill me again. You gonna kill me again? Or am I gonna have to kill you? Should I step on you and kill you? No, I'm not gonna kill anyone. Why skulls? Anyways. Why can't it be something nice like little bits of hearts everywhere? Like hearts growing out of the ground? What has happened in Bevel's past and made her so tortured? Why did I never ask this before? Turn the lights on. I don't have 
lipstick. Fuck! I keep forgetting to get the lipstick. But what has happened in Bevel's past that made her such a tortured child? Why is her skull right there, too? And why is that black haired girl trying to screw me over? Four ways to Sunday. Turn the lights on every night, I rush to my bed. Listening to the screams of terror and blood that surrounds me. I'm going to paint with lipstick. Paint the Martian landscape. Hope nobody finds me when I'm alone. Oh, 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 can I? Alright, and then... Alright, you guys are still moving. Shh, go, go, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Thank you! I love you, Scully! Just because you didn't kill me, I love you. Mm. <laughs> that bridge canvas was taken straight from Eve. At least I don't kill an ant when I step across it. Whew. And you're still alive. Should I be worried about that? Should I leave you alone? I don't trust it. I don't like it. Eh. Where did all my prisoners go? The sign explicitly says, please do not escape. The sign says, do not escape. Why is everybody gone? Did I let them escape? Why would I let them escape? It says no escape. I'm an idiot. I'm a dum-dum. And I have a cloth. I'm gonna spit on the cloth. <laughs> Item slit candle. Does it symbolize Bevel giving up on painting or something? Let's go. Oh, hello there, Darren. How are you? I, I know what you did with Lucy. I, I know you're cheating on your host girlfriend. I know, that we're, he's, I know that you're older than you think you are. I know that you are a little bitch. I know that you like her all, all across from you, and that's why you're talking to her. And I know that you, you like both of them and can't choose between them. <gasps> Hi, sis! Sis! Sis, talk to me! Rock her! Can I hide in you so I can hide from my shame? Uh, goodbye, everybody. I'm leaving my life behind. Is this my orphanage? Alright, so. I am going to go on ahead and get the battery. There's no battery. The battery's usually there. Alright, I'm going to go on ahead and leave the episode here. Leave a like, comment, and comment below. Give me some criticism for my commentary. And have a great day. You deserve it. I will see you guys in the next video. While I try to figure out how to get Bevel's painting's best ending. Alright, I'll see you guys. Bye bye. And I wonder how people can actually like, hurt me. Like Your soul starts off weak but can grow strong if you gain a lot of love. The LB doesn't stand for level, it stands for love in this game for some reason, which is your level. Why love, of course!